y'all didn't know, honey, y'all about to get some of the messiest hours of y'all life today. <laughs> please believe, because we were off last because, week. Because, honey, we did not come. We had stormed y'all. Yes. We had to let y'all know, honey, that we don't. This ain't how we live. That's right. <laughs> this ain't how we live. We do this for you. Right, right, right. What we doing for, girl? For you. <laughs> <laughs> and you. And you. And you. And you. Right, and you right. going to what? And you, huh? And, and you going to what? And y'all going to love us. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that. That's right. You get what I'm saying? Because, Craig, I don't want you. Listen, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I, I wouldn't be T.S. Madison if I didn't do uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh, Craig, mm -hmm. you know, honey, when we was talking about uh, the cyber warfare that was going on with the TikTok community. Uh-huh. The big and, and shit. The, and the big 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 <laughs> The big old big old girls got so... Honey, girl, I saw them trying to tear you up on Girl, the big old big old girls pulled out their switch blades, razor blades, honey, and oh, they, they pocket knives on me. Girl, wow. I think they were more upset than when we talked about the trans stuff and the AIDS. Girl, yes, they pulled out their, their they pulled out their switch blades, they 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 butcher's knives, honey. Yes. Honey, uh, their razor blades, they, they did it on me. And they did that on me because they 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 know that I'm rich. <laughs> they don't want girl. <laughs> they know that I'm rich. Uh-huh. They know this. Uh-huh. Right? They know that I'm rich. They also they also know that I'm booked and busy. Uh huh. They also know that the spaces that I occupy that they are not. <laughs> They're yeah, not invited. Lord. They're they know this stuff, <laughs> and they took what I said towards being a cyber warfare as a dig at them because of where I'm located in in my status and in life, mm -hmm. and I had nothing to do with it. But I want to set the record straight just for anybody across any platform. Mm -hmm. I don't never feel that I'm better than anybody until y'all make me get into that space. Mm -hmm. I only I, I don't feel like that I'm I don't feel like that I'm above anyone. I don't feel like that I'm better than anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't knock nobody's hustle. I don't do any anything anything until y'all make me do it. Uh -huh. And the way that you make me do that is you try to step on where I'm at because I I have to to always politely tap y'all on y'all shoulder and show and to tell y'all to show me that you can do what I've done. Mm -hmm. With your Beagle Beagle views. <laughs> Show me that you can do what I've done already. And then I will humble myself. You do what? I will humble myself then. But once you once you show me that you can do exactly what I've done mm -hmm. from Beagle Beagle, uh -huh. until you do that, I'm still the exalted one. <laughs> and Wait. I was not even occupying that space when I was having that conversation. We were talking about cyber warfare, Craig. And we were talking about how apps have been implemented into the system to distract American people from what's really going on. From what's going, they've, they've been implemented, and we talked about how there is a different version of TikTok uh -huh. for the for the for the for the Asian, Asian people. Yeah, and we also and I also stated on. Uh, that the big old girl, that they're not worried about the big old girls because the big old girls are over there fighting over beans, uh -huh. which they are mm -hmm. fighting, stabbing, shooting, uh, uh, doxing, and doing all those things over there for beans, which they are. <laughs> and this was not even, and 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 y'all getting this because y'all asked for it, mm -hmm. and here we are. <laughs> and it had nothing to do with me looking down on them for big old because. Here's the thing about it. I've turned Beagle down numerous occasions. Beagle themselves wrote me in Chinese. Was it just in Beagle themselves wrote me in Chinese <laughs> and, and converted it to English and uh -huh. reached out to all forms of representations <clears throat> to try to get me to come over to Beagle. I just decided, I declined. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I'm better than anybody that's on Beagle until you make me. Mm -hmm. Like, did you, I want you to read between the lines. All right. I don't think that I'm better than anyone on Beagle or anybody that's getting their money in any kind of way until you make me. Mm -hmm. Until you provoke me mm -hmm. to get ugly. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for this right here to get ugly. <laughs> but when I do, it's a pretty ugly. Mm. Okay? Uh -huh. Because that's not what that was not the focus of what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. About Beagle. Because I'm not gonna knock anybody's hustle for how they get their money, how they come up. I'm not gonna do that. Right. Okay? But what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna continue to try to throw that I did pornographic movies and I sold my pussy ass dick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon. You sold what? That I, that I sold my pussy. Wait, wait. You, you didn't let what? me finish. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. That I sold my pussy ass balls and dick. Oh. 
<laughs> a conundrum of things. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're not going to make me, you're not going to continuously throw that up in the space as if I didn't make a million dollars uh -huh. off of that. <laughs> it's right. unfortunate that you girls have yet to make a million dollars off of anything that you're doing. <laughs> so you're not going to throw that up like as if I didn't make a million dollars off of that, became infamous, notorious, and a businesswoman for doing that, and an empire owner mm -hmm. for doing that, mm -hmm. as if you're saying this stuff to me as if I am in a space of ill, yuck, this and the other bitch, when you should, again, I tell you girls on a constant basis, you sh instead of reading me, you should take pen, paper, and read from me because I am the motherfucking, the goddamn pamphlet on how to really do it and how to rebrand yourself and how to make it in a space from what the cards you were, you were, you were dealt. Right. I'm to be studied. I just left Rutgers. Where'd you leave, girl? I just left Rutgers. Up in New Jersey. Up in New Jersey, speaking at the college. At the what, girl? At the college. And you ain't got no HSBCU. And I don't even have an HSBCU degree, bitch. And I was speaking at the college because they also are thinking about adding me to the curriculum. What are they doing, girl? They are thinking about adding me to the curriculum. <laughs> you girls are not in my space to even communicate and to, and to think that you can be little and, and um, you know, be subtle. Uh-huh. They try to be smirch. And be smirch me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In a space because I did porn, I did these things, I did those things, but I also was a business. I owned that. I didn't do it for a motherfucking company. I didn't do it for an entity. I did it for me. Mm. I sold my motherfucking ass, balls, titties, dick, <laughs> pussy, and whatever to the bidder that had the most money, bitch, on my terms. Again, we're in a space of me owning, me being, and me always going to be, bitch, the motherfucking owner and operator of my intellectual property, which is uh, of me. Your of my intellectual property. Your IP. Which is me. And have always utilized the spaces that I have occupied to elevate to the next level and not sit in the same space. Mm. That felt good. I'm not just a, I'm not just a social media influencer. I'm not just a content creator. I am T.S. motherfucking Madison, bitch. For those of you who are confused. Okay. Until you can roll over into your device and <laughs> until you can do what? Until you can roll over in your device and ask a device that has nothing to do with anything else except you except command your lights to go on and go off. <laughs> except command your, your, your thermostat to go high or go low. Except to command your garage to go up and go down and ask it, who is Alexa? Who is T S Madison? Madison is an American reality television personality and actress. With the reality show The Tease Madison Experience, she became the first black trans woman to star in and executive produce her own reality series. Until any of you girls hold any of those titles that had decided that they were going to use any, any, what's the word, besmirch? If they want to be you were smart. going to besmirch me or you were going to use any of my former activities that I did in my life to make the first million dollars that I had ever made, bitch, the first million. Until you girls can speak out into the direction, excuse me, until you can speak out into the direction and ask any entity, bitch, in any store, in any country, any city, in any place on the globe, who you are, bitch, and what you've done, girl, sit the fuck down. <laughs> sit. Because the object of our conversation had nothing to do with you being belittled. I can't help that my presence belittles you. Mm -hmm. I'll say that so that you can feel it. I can't help that my presence belittles you. Mm. Because people are either inspired by you or intimidated because of you. And I, and, and, and listen, because my name is T.S. Madison, both of those things, both of those statements are true. Uh -huh. I can't help that my presence belittled you. That don't have nothing to do with me. I was not talking about any of motherfucking y'all in a, in a derogatory manner, but y'all took it upon yourself to be offended by me talking about cyber warfare. And what's going on with the state of America. And to call anything that I'm involved with and I'm on a flop of which I'm receiving residuals on and can turn all my social media off, bitch, and go to my mailbox and pick up my checks from any of the things that I've been on. Girl, any one of my flops, bitch, would be a major accomplishment for you. I just want you to know that. Anything that you have deemed that I have done that's a flop would be a major accomplishment for you. Let's be clear here. 
Let's be clear. <clears throat> now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> and a bitch can take it how they want to take it. But that's the truth. It's not fiction. It's facts. Now, when we were talking, I, I, I'd like to circle back. Yes. When we were talking about the warfare that was going on, that, that is currently going on in America right now, we were talking about how the, Chin the Chinese, uh -huh. the Asian, have implemented the apps and all this stuff to distract the American people Mm -hmm. from the, the, the thought process. Like not, none of the everybody's on there trying to do TikTok challenges and they're trying to do TikTok dances and they're doing X, Y, and Z, whatever. You know, I'm not I'm not looking down on TikTok either. I don't because I don't I'm not looking down on any any of that. I'm just saying that there is a distraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so we clearly can see it. They distracted the black girls earlier to get the black girls to have out their knives. And their, their guns and their bats and their bulletproof this, and they have them bigger, bigger, <laughs> bigger, bigger. <clears throat> and that's okay if that's where you choose, and if that's how you took how you wanted to take this this the, the commentary over mm -hmm. the over the facts. The TikTok girls over there doing TikTok dances. When you really look that shit up, when you really look at how TikTok is designed differently in Asia. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's different. It is. Yeah, they take they teaching them how to build stuff. They teaching them how to build, how to motherfucking goddamn this. They teaching them. He, they right. teaching those hoes <laughs> how to take over. How the to world. hold a Mac motherfucking <laughs> ten, bitch. When it's time to tear this shit down. Hey, excuse me. Why is there water running in the back while we're doing the show? They <laughs> they teach the girls how to hold a Mac motherfucking ten. Mm -hmm. To tear the American folks down to the ground. Mm. Okay, but my thing is how we are so easily, and how they, how they, how those girls are so readily to try to remind me mm -hmm. of where I, of try to remind me, like, oh, girl, you know, you were, don't, where you came don't from. miss, bitch, I can never forget. I look around at my riches daily. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me let let me say that again, bitch. I could never forget. I look around at my riches daily, bitch. The fuck. And I hate that when people make me get into a space. What's going on over there? I just hate when people make me try to get into a space and then they try to to hide behind the guise of me looking down like oh massey you're looking down on the girls or oh you you're not better than the girls because you did oh girl well how many views oh and here was a here was the thing that they said craig hold on i need you to catch this one. Oh girl she only averages about five to ten thousand views on her youtube channel and i was like well which youtube channel are you looking at and if and if we were and if we're being and if we're being real technical about it the five or ten thousand views that, that i would probably you know allegedly uh average you would want to get one or two of those because because <laughs> because out of that five or ten thousand views that i actually average i got a residual from that that none of you girls <laughs> that none of you girls <laughs> could fix your throat to even say that you receive <laughs> or you may receive in this lifetime bigger bigger <laughs> bitch Correct. That's going to be currently in a few moments. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. It's just like, girl, y'all be stepping out of y'all. Y'all be stepping out of y'all comfort zone and hitting a bitch, bitch, who, who don't think that she's above y'all until y'all make her get into those spaces. Mm. I don't think that I'm above anybody until more. Well, I need to put this on the comment section, please. I don't think that I'm above anyone until you force me to get into those places. Mm -hmm. Y'all force that on me. I'm like, nah, girl. Hey y'all go and I got the point at accolades, which I don't have to, but I because they they be trying to do them for me. All that bitch do is be on them red carpets and all this stuff. I'm like, well, girl, if when y'all feel some type of way about me, meet me in those spaces where I'm at, and once you meet me there, discuss it in my face. Then, <laughs> until then, bigger, bigger. <laughs> 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 
How dare any one of you hosts think that you can outread me? <laughs> How dare you? Mm -mm -mm. Girl, I don't remember you um, shaking my drink up. Girl, I had to shake mine because it was too strong. I needed yours to be strong as it needed to be. <laughs> How dare y'all feel that y'all can do those things, bitch, getting a bitch, because that's not even my angle. Mm -hmm. Craig and I hate that for them, that they get this, these lashes. Yes, that they get these lashings. I hate that for them. <laughs> I despise that for them. <laughs> that they get these lashings, Craig. <laughs> Taking things that I have said, and the and the media has the has the has the the unmitigated goal mm -hmm. to do that to me. I'm going to repeat that again. Mm -hmm. The media, <laughs> as in mainstream media, uh -huh. has the unmitigated goal to do those things. Because I heard a bitch speak on that uh, 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 talking about that I got into it with Jess. No, sweetie, I made a statement about things that that that, that, that are a part of. Our community as faggies and blacks, mm. and because the voice that I have elevates outside of Bigo Bigo and uh -oh. or motherfucking YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, that the mainstream folks grabbed a hold to it and they felt some type of way about it. Again, instead of trying to read me, read about me, bitch. Instead of trying to read me, read some excerpts from my life and apply them to yours. So that when you get into the reading room with me, you can say, bitch, you did that, but I did this. But currently, right now, you're saying, yeah, bitch, you did all that. But what are you doing again? Bigger, bigger. Play with your pussy, your kids, your dogs, your pets, bitch. But don't motherfucking play with me. Without any credentials. Now, if you were a girl of credentials, <laughs> if you were a girl of credentials, I'll be like, all right, girl, I see what you're saying. But you girls are not girls of credentials, bitch, to even play with me like that. I told y'all before when I was doing porn that those girls were in their apartments <laughs> and I was in my home. <laughs> ceiling to floor windows 30 foot in my home that I still have now and I just purchased another one mm. that that the ceiling to floor windows are twice the size <laughs> you can't play with me <laughs> you can't get in a boxing ring with a heavyweight bitch you can't do it because you're not going to win And speaking of me being in my 40s, headed to my 50s, bitch, look this good when you get there. If you get to those places, because a lot of you young girls are getting chopped up and motherfucking goddamn put in garbage disposals, bitch, before you're the age of 25 or 30. Because you out there playing pussy mm. or playing real or not telling your, your chats or playing host role games. I crawl so that you can walk. What'd you do, girl? I crawl so that you can walk. <laughs> Respect your mama's bitch. Get to 50. Be a transsexual or even a black person. And hold as much space as I have over the course of time. And talk to me then. Get one of my flops on your resume. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get one of my flops on your resume, bitch. One of them. And then I'll respect you a different way. Ooh, this tea was good. Mm-hmm. Mm. So delicious. Bitch, there are entities getting ready to motherfucking make movies and stories about my motherfucking life. Who the fuck are you? You, 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 you young and think that you're talking to. Get one of my flops, bitch. And add it to your resume and then come back and see about me. And they love throwing Kaya's name up. <laughs> 
Does TV One still do an unsung? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna drop, spit this drink everywhere. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not an unsung. Do they still do an unsung? Girl, I don't know. Girl. I don't know. I haven't heard it from it in a while. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Now, y'all run that over there to the Beagle kids, bitch, and let them go into a frenzy about that again. It was not, I, nobody was reading that. Mm -hmm. But you are now. Oh, I am. Now I am. Now I am. It is now. Now you can take this as a read, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can now. Well, y'all, please put a bid in for the van. Because <laughs> the, the van itself needs an unsung. <laughs> How it rolled up and down I-70 motherfucking five, bitch. <laughs> but it, we're not here tearing her up. She just got astray because they added her to the conversation. <laughs> mm. Oh. You know, Craig, mm -hmm. I have to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy that type of stuff. What? That whole little diatribe you just Yes, went I enjoy that. <laughs> I don't really like to do it, but when I do it, I like, I like to go forth because it reminds me of all the work that I have done. When I get into a space of thinking like, God, what more do you have for me? Mm -hmm. You know, because as when I was speaking at the college. At, at the what, girl? <clears throat> <laughs> When I was booked to speak at the college uh -huh. at Rutgers University, uh -huh. yeah, don't 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 demean where you were. You were at a, you were at a university. Yes, I was college. speaking. Yes, when I was speaking at Rutgers University, I also spoke at Buffalo University. University, but remember, you oh, were yeah, there. That's true. That's true. Well, well you've actually spoke. You spoke I've spoken at a lot of I've spoken universities. Many universities. Right. Right. Which is true. Right. <laughs> and I've also, while I was speaking there communicated about my background in adult film mm -hmm. and business and, and entertainment. I communicated and I, I educated the kids on how to take lemons and make lemonade. Mm -hmm. Because those are the smart kids who ain't trying to read me. They try to learn from me mm -hmm. because they understand that this is a comeuppance story. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a story to be studied. Girl, you really got a handle on that word comeuppance, bitch. I got it from you. <laughs> girl, we're going we to get at we asked before it's all over. We are. We're going to get that. We are. Well, you, you went to college for me. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Thanks. And you girls are actually going to gag after something airs after May 20th. Oh. Oh, I got, I got a date for it. Oh, okay. You're going to gag okay. on that as well. When the girls is receiving honors and accolades, bitch, from mm -hmm. the from the from Viacom. Uh huh. Ah. <laughs> For her relentless and tireless work as T as being the T S Madison, mm. bitch. Let's be clear. Okay. <laughs> that this is an entity here, darling. <laughs> Greg, I like that. Mm -hmm. I feel good doing that. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel, I feel good. I feel good. And I just may have them stream it on Beagle. Ah. <laughs> do you have a Beagle account? Ah. I, I just may have them do that. <laughs> but they might be busy. Uh. Fighting, stabbing, shooting. Oh, my God. <laughs> For beans. For beans. I wasn't reading them, Craig. <laughs> Craig, I wasn't reading them. Like, why they do that? Can you explain to me why they do that? I can't. I cannot. Mo, can you explain to me why they do that? I can't either. I can't explain it. Why do I have to come and look like I'm so self-absorbed and such a narcissist? Why do I have to look this way? Mm. Why? <laughs> I was talking about the good of the goodness of America. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how we as how we as Americans are under attack. <laughs> And the colors made this about them to make this about me to make this about them. Mm -hmm. Shit! And then after all this happens, I start to look like the, uh, the, the bad one. Mm -hmm. 
After all this, I have to start looking like the bad one. I hope that God take everything. God, because I see these God given, God taking away. Well, he, listen, honey, y'all been saying God taking away from the time I ran through my backyard saying new, uh, to my front door, saying new weave, new weave, 22 inches, yes. And as, as you can see, there's been a, an a immense of more of come up it. Mm-hmm. I've shown you, where, um, honey, the uh, $200,000 car I pulled off the lot. <laughs> I show renovations here. I went over across the street just, just to inspire you to be exactly who you are and grow and you can do it from where I came from. And yet, Craig, we talked about this today. Mm -hmm. Y'all are on your knees praying, praying to God that he takes something from me. And all I've shown you was abundance. Abundance and living your life. That's weird though. On being exactly who you are unapologetically. Mm -hmm. That's weird to pray for God to take stuff away. The from bitch God. said that she hoped she can't wait to niggas run down on me and beat me. I'm like, where them niggas at? <laughs> where they at? But you know, envy really is the fear that God isn't going to bless you in the same way that he blessed somebody is else. Is that what it is? That's really what it is. Wow. Is that what it is, Greg? Can mm -hmm. you repeat that again? So it's, they, so envy. they can, because they love to cut around the parts. Right. Maybe they'll cut around that part too. <laughs> envy is really the. Fear. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. And uh -huh. Mo, when yes. we, when you chop this down, uh -huh. I need you to title this "Bigo Bigo." <laughs> <laughs> Just so they don't have to search around and know where to get it. They from. already know where it's at. Yeah, Bigo Bigo. Okay, I got you. I got you. But envy is just the fear that God mm -hmm. isn't going to bless you as as abundantly as he blessed somebody else. That's why people have jealousy and envy and all that other stuff, because you're just concerned that he's not going to do the same thing for you. And it's crazy that I'd be sitting over saying everything that I have and everything that I've done, God can give this to you. Mm -hmm. He can do this. He, she, it, they. No, he it can't. Can because so a lot of these people are, are evil people. Why, but, would God, why would God do that for them? Because Some of these people are just pure evil. They are, Mo. But here's the thing. Whatever God gives me, he ain't. I, he, he chose me. But you earned it also. I also earned. But he chose me. He called. I answered. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I give up. You don't know what I what's went the through. Sacrifice. What's the sacrifice? Exactly. You don't know the things that I've been mm -hmm. through. You don't know any of that. That's the same thing I talked about when I was at the college. Mm -hmm. I said when all this stuff was going on in my life and all the things that was going on for me in my life and I was doing, I was on my come up and thing. Mm -hmm. Nobody asked me how I felt. Mm -hmm. Nobody and all the nasty, even in this situation, when a bitch sitting over there on a platform saying, I can't wait to niggas run down on her and fuck her up. Mm -hmm. I sat there was like, really? But you know what that reminds me of? It goes back to when I went. Remember I told you I flew down to see Beyonce, the concert. Uh -huh. And I said to you. After. I oh, saw wait a minute. And, and everybody was screaming I'm black from my voice. Oh. <laughs> at that concert. Yeah, that, that happened too. I actually got a check from that the, the other day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, excuse me. But I was telling you. I, I just had to let you. I, thank you for going to that concert. <laughs> I actually got a deposit from that just two days ago. What's today? Monday? Mm -hmm. Friday. <laughs> You're so stupid. From my, from my five or 10,000 views that came from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, right, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. I, I just had to do that. Go what, ahead. what I was going to say was, when I saw, before, I think even before I went to see her in the concert, remember how you would see all of the videos over social media and the video where she said, when she was speaking at mm -hmm. the beginning of the concert and she said, I'm so thankful for my family and the women of Destiny's Child. And she said, my husband and for all of the shit we've been through. I literally, from that moment, started praying for her. You did, did. Did I tell you that? You did. You I did. started praying for her because going back to your point, no one really thinks about the weight that you carry when you're a public person. Right. Nobody really thinks about the struggle, even the way that, that, that some of you tear Oprah up and talk about what she need to be doing. You don't really think about their day to day. You don't think about the weight that they carry. Yes. As the public, we look at you and her and Beyonce and all of these people and feeling like we're entitled to something because they've made it and they should just do this because they're rich well, or just because they have influence in the world. But we don't think about the weight that they carry. Well, a lot, I was, I, to, to, to comment on that, Craig, I think the reason it is because a lot of people don't, a lot of people feel like just because you have money, your whole life is okay. 
And uh, because a lot of people prioritize money so much, they uh, think that. Uh, hold on, Mo. I got, I got to tear into Eric D. Whittemore down here. What did, what did they say? No, I, I tear Tyler up not because of what he does, because I also talk about how great he does in his phil philanthropic ways. What I tear him up about, Eric, if you were listening, maybe you just didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I tell him up about his work, not about his philanthropy. Craig, and I, I, I want to get, I, I want to get to this sentence, and I, and I might reveal something that is going to come out very soon. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've had the opportunity. <laughs> I've had the opportunity to just. I've, I've had the opportunity to experience his work. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that. Girl, stand on the mic, girl. I have to say that talking from an outside perspective before I got the opportunity to experience his work, mm -hmm. after I experienced his work, mm -hmm. I had a newfound understanding. 